I think we just back raise it here and hopefully they have something they can fold or they call off with like Queen Jack of Diamonds or whatever. Uh... Come on, Ace King. Let's go, man. Come on. Mr. Coco's is going for it. Ace King, Ace King Jack. Oh, holds. Let's go, Chad. Huge triple us, triple up for us there. Come on, man. That's a big pot in the 215 Bounty Hunter. Let's go. Raise call. I am going to call as well with a suited eight. Oh my goodness, chat. Look at me, dude. Middle pair and a flush draw. You kidding me, bro? Let's go. Uh, betting a call. So do we just raise now? Probably, man. We probably just raise now. I think we just go for the raise now, dude. I think we just raise now. Put pressure on. Are we doing this? Streamer versus streamer? Slayer? Are we doing this, man? Let's go. Oh! Yes! Let's go! I forgot! I had a pair to go along with my flush draw! Come on, man! 243k! Is this the Slayer? Or is this Slayer v1? Yeah, no, Slayer. It is Slayer. Yeah, that's Slayer. Let's go, dude! Aces. Of course. Of course the Aces. Call it off. Aces, Ace, Queen here against Hey Kid. Unlucky. I don't know if that is... Who that is. I have a feeling it's B Paris, but I could be wrong. Either way, they're a senior. We've got a knockout, which means we're in the money chat. Redfeld hype confirmed. Let's -a go, dude. In the money. There it is. 340 cash. And now let's spin this thing up and get a final table. Early days in the session. Yeah, I think shove queens and suited. We don't want to limp call a raise. I don't want to raise fold or raise call. So I think just shove here. Call by fives. Come on, queen jack or 10. No. We're dead, dude. In 12th place. 340 bucks. GG. That's it. That's the end of the journey in that one. King Queen suited. Dunderblub going for the raise. And a call here from Ein's Worst. Call as well. Hey, we flubber the flush, man. Let's go. So I'm going to start with a check. And just check raise here, I think, to 13 2 sounds fine to me. Jimmy, good luck, good luck. And thoughts on Slayer. I may be doing being the next Party Poker Pro. I've been checking out Slayer's stream. I like Slayer. I think he's good. So we'll just leave it at that. I think he's a good guy. And I like his stream. I think he's going to do really well on Twitch. So nothing to report, but uh, I have been checking him out. All in with a flush. It's the ace high flush. Draw and boom. 90,000. Feels good, man. Let's go. This is the Slayer V1 fan, by the way. Uh, new channel on Twitch. Ace king in the 320 now. Slayer has a bountyable stack. Streamer on streamer battle. Bountyable stack here, man. Folds us. We'll raise it up. Here it is, dude. Streamer on streamer battle against Slayer. Ace King against Ace Eight. We fought the nuts. Hold it. No, it's a chump. Slayer, not like this, man. Listen, man. Come on, dude. Like, I get it. You're new on the Twitch streets. People want to check out the stream. You want to get the word out about the channel. I get it, man. But you can't be doing me like that. You can't be running out straights like that, Slayer. It's not allowed, man. For bounties in the 320. Come on, dude. Uh, A6 suited will call the re-raise. Go to flop. Of Ace 8 3. Call the bets to the turn. Deuce of clubs. Beautiful. Pick up a club draw to go along with a pair of aces, which means if we're wrong about having the best hand here, we've got outs. They bet 12k. We'll call again. Queen of hearts. Think fold if they shove, and if they check, we check back. But we can totally have a heart draw here as well, so... Fold on the end there to a leg BTC. There's a 530 to close. So it's, it's similar to the last two Sundays of KO series, basically. But uh, again, on this Sunday, nines against eights here for a lot of chips. Flush, slightly higher flush. So I think we have an all in situation here. Try and pick up the 6K in the middle. And we can get called by worse hands. I mean, hey, there's a bounty in our head, right? There it is. Up to 83,000 now in the 320. We'll take that. Just like that, we're kind of in contention once again. Going to fold the ace five. The ace ten sees a flop, and it's 6-4-4 four, four with one club. Going to check back here three ways for sure. Bet on the turn. Check back. Pick up the nut flush draw. Still ace high. Feeling good about it. I think there's value to be had here uh, with one more bet. There we go. All right. Big pot coming our way. And uh, bet on the end. I think it's really hard for them to have a full house, so I'm going to raise. 
because they call in the big blind. So they can have like four six or king four or king queen, or, or excuse me, queen four. But it's check, check, check on the flop, and it's check, check, check on the turn, and now they bet the river. So they would have needed to check the turn going for a check raise with one of those hands, which is a big ask. So we raise. They don't they don't call off, but it's nice still. 135k. And here we're 16 to 40 in the money now. We've made it. Redfeld hype confirmed. Cash for 118. Again, it's 3k for the win. Uh, Ace 8 call for 4,000. Start with a check on the Jack 4-4. Four four. Turn is nice. We have the nut flush. Full houses are possible, but you know, feel good right now. We will check raise and lose to uh, full houses when they have kings full or jacks full or whatever, but uh, I think they're also going to have some lower flushes at times, which we can make money from. Uh, we lose. It's so sick, man. It's so sick. We lose. Unless they have that lower flush. We are five off the money here. Four off the money now. In this 320, the min cash is $311. We have 78 in bounties already. But uh, looking to make a run. Our table is difficult. If we pick up another shove hand, I think. Three off the money now again. So we'll try again. Let's go one more time. Thanks for staying patient while I had dinner. It was a big dinner. It's a lot of food. I got it. There was a lot of food on the plate. I finished it. It was uh, some steak, some broccoli, some... Sweet potato and some rice. It was like a full plate of food, man. So now I'm just letting that digest a bit. All right. Ramistar calls. So we're against fours for a lot of chips, man. Wow. 260,000. Wow, wow, wow. Definitely all in here for 12 blinds. 18 left in the tournament. 171 cash. It's a pay jump at 16 to 202. It's ace nine. All right, we're dead. GG, guys. 171 is our final cash there. We've made the money, chat. Redfeld hype confirmed. The bubble has burst. Anticlimactic. I missed it. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but we're we're down to 24. So let's spin this up and win this thing. Uh, there it is. Jack 10-3. Loop call. Four diamonds in the turn. We'll keep betting here, obviously. And if coaching raises, we call, but it's not like, oh, we win every time. But we still call. Okay, we take it down. All right, nine eighths. Not a great hand, but worth a call of a small raise or something like that. Coaching limps. Let's see a flop. King, nine, seven. We have middle pair. Feeling good about that. That's a nice start to the hand, but don't necessarily want to inflate the pot yet. So just check. Turn is a king of clubs. And we'll bet now. All right, take it down. Coaching raises. We'll call in position. Flop is a six four. And let's start by betting twenty two thousand. I think is fine. Check call eight on the turn. All right. The question is, do we go for value as well on the river? And I'm not sure. Uh, it's kind of a weird one to be honest because. It's a weird, uh, like, almost feel like we should check the turn. It's really close. Ace-Jack is one of the best hands we just call preflop. We're going to 3-bet Ace-Queen, Ace-King. So we're quite strong there. Against check raises, we don't love our life, that's for sure. We check-check at the flop, bet the turn with the 10, get a call. We have the best hand, I think. It's pretty hard for them to check a Jack twice. They probably have a worse 10. 7-9, uh, okay. Thin call, 420,000. What a meme. 10 of 18. Let's go, baby. But let's bet the 8 9. What a turn against coaching. I want to go pretty big here with all the draws that exist. There is a lot of them, by the way. There's a lot of draws hearts, clubs, straights, etc. All right. I'm going to go for it. It's pretty thin. With the bounty, I'm going to go for it, though. We might lose to a 5. It's pretty damn annoying. And 6 7 sometimes, but not often. Is there any chance we lose to over players that limp, check, call, check, call, check, call? Okay, I'm going to bet normal. But I'm going to call a raise, right? I don't know what sizing I want to go for, man. All right, we take it down. 500,000 in the 320. The 320 Gladiator, we've won it three times. It might have been four times that we've won it. It's <laughs> definitely three, though. I bet. 
John Coffey, thinking about it. Goes for the small check raise. Very small, by the way, but we'll definitely call. Let's see a turn. Queen or king. Either is fun. Ace is not good, bro. Now, this is good for our range. The sorts of hands that we have here have some aces in them that might want to bet call. I don't know about John Coffey. I don't know how many aces John Coffey has. Like, they probably just call with ace high diamonds. Uh, if they flat ace queen pre, I think that's reasonable. They can have sevens and sixes and queen seven and queen six. Um, probably like king jack, king ten, jack ten of clubs type stuff as well. Okay, I don't know. Ooh, check. That is a good flop. We just keep hitting against coaching. Like, literally every time we just smash. We've just smashed, like, 30 flops in a row against coaching. Bet the trip kings. It is a pretty connected turn. Oh, we lose. Okay. We lose. Oh, we beat queens. It's so sick for coaching. It's so sick. We've, we've hit so many flops against them. They've got to feel that, like, we're just owning them because we've won, like, the last five or something. But we're not. We're just running so hot in this spot. We're down to the final two tables, yo. That means a pay jump. 49 cash, 78 in bounties still. Not much of bounties, but uh, good situation, chat. Danke. Danke schön. Danke schön. We've won the pot. 483k. It's all right. Now, we do have Baba Ansan at our table with a bounty in play, but it's gone. It's in play right now, which means we don't get a chance at it. We're down to nine now, so that's a pay jump, right? 672, eight to nine. Ace King, this is our baby, man. This is it, chat. This is it, bro. Let's do your, do this. Senior Matans, please. Senior. We're all in, Senior Matans. Have Ace Queen. Okay. 450. All right, 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 all right. Pretty dang good flop, man. I think we start with a check call. There's only really six bad turns. The ace and the king of non-clubs. <laughs> it's not many. Seven of diamonds here. Bet the turn. Just take it. All right. Thanks for call. Pretty dang short with a big old bounty. I'm going to try and raise a trashy hand because I want a piece of that. I want that. But thanks for call Fultz, which is cool. We'll take the steal with kind of a trashy hand there. I'm going to raise. And if thanks for call is all in, I'm not going to fold. Because I think this 3-bet is going to be pretty wide. Uh, the question is, do a 4-bet now? They're going to 3-bet extremely wide with this bounty in play. And I think we do with the pair. Especially being one of the shorter stacks. I think we just stick her in there. There we go. 664. Six, Come on, chat. Chipping up, chat. 664. 998. Nine, we have a gutter. Back to our flush draw as well. We're going to bet. A lot of good turns for us, obviously. Like straight turns, club turns, etc. Uh, four. Okay. I'll check. We don't get there. I think it's crazy. You would say anyone's coaching could be possibly better than BBZ. I've had enough of this already. <laughs> I'm not. Listen, bro. I am not. I'm not the coaching review board here, man. I'm not the coaching review board, so I am sorry you think whatever I said was crazy. But listen, man, I haven't had time to view the whole amount of people's work, uh, their life's work, to review their coaching material and then analyze it and give proper reviews. I just know that Razor Edge is a holistic, a holistic approach to poker from pre-flop to flop to turn to river. Uh, it's been incredibly helpful for me, and I've never seen coaching as good as this. I think it's the best. I think it's the best. That's all I know, okay? Listen, BBZ is my teammate. I saw BBZ in the listing, and I suggested, like, hey, we should sign that guy. He's going to be great. Like, that's us. So I like the guy. But listen, man, I am not, I'm not the god of poker training. Here's the answers, okay? I don't have time to view all the things and give, like, complete reviews. Ace five of diamonds here. Call. Thanks for call is very short. I mean, we're basically down to eight at this point. It's a good start. Get raised from relentless. It's pretty interesting because they just call on the big blind so they can have king nine. 
They can have king six. Uh, they can have nine six. They can have sixes. And maybe nines. But it's such a small combination because as opposed to like the flush draws they have. I think we should probably fast play here. Like when we're against those hands, we're doing whatever. Like not terrible, not great. Like 40% uh, against a lot of those hands. When they have flush draws, we're smashing. And it also doesn't represent very much. Like king nine, king six, nine six, set of sixes, half the time set of nines, and that's it, bro. Like that's all they're saying. As opposed to like all the gut shots and all of the worst flush draws they can have, it's like I think we just back raise it here and hopefully they have something they can fold. Or they call off with like Queen Jack of Diamonds or whatever. King X of Diamonds kinda sucks when they have that, to be fair. Which they can have that. Interesting. Uh I don't know. King exit diamonds makes me kind of not sure what to do about it. GG. We're at ninth. King Jack without a diamond. 751. King Jack, King Queen. Fair enough. It's still kind of risky for them against senior Matans, but... I don't know if I like it. The problem is... How many combos of King exit diamonds do they have? And a lot. And they can check raise those. It's kind of annoying. Although, I think they'd be more likely to call, but... That gives them a lot more value hands. So there's an argument to just calling here. The thing that sucks when we just call, though, is that um, we're going to lose a lot of the turn. Like, we call here, and that's 300, 450-ish, four, right? And we're going to be left with, like, 450 back. So, yeah.